Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we're going to talk about Bixby Routines. Now what Bixby Routines is, is a way that you're able to either discover some of these things on a if-then basis, and you can also create your own routines. Now to be completely honest, I wasn't really a huge fan of Bixby Routines until just recently, and it was really after I started creating my own situations was when I started really kind of liking the whole Bixby Routine thing. So if you're new to Bixby Routines, if you're new to Sam Samsung and you don't really know where to start, here's a good starting point here in this video. You can actually copy the routines that I created to get you started and then as you discover more things of what you can do, then you're gonna see a lot of really cool things happening on your phone. So first let's talk about how you're able to go inside of these settings and get it all set up. So pull down the notifications panel twice and you're gonna look at all of your different quick settings on the top and you'll find one that's called Bixby Routines. Now when you press and hold on the icon, it might ask you to hit start or set it up and hit accept. So just go through all of those things and then it takes you to this page here of how you're able to discover different things your phone is able to do. Now these are all set up as a if then basis, which means if you're at home, then these things will happen. Another thing could be, you know, if uh, it's before bed, then these things can happen. And so I really found myself liking it when I created my own. So let me first talk about these three here. You can also copy them and then I'll show you how you can create your own. So the first one I have set up is one that's called movie. Now this one has a play button. These ones have toggles. So the way that this one is set up is if I hit the start button because you know, you don't go to a movie on a specific day and time every single week. So you might go to a movie once a month, once a week, uh, once a day. And then this is where you're able to just hit on that little start button. Then these two things happen. So I set mine up to where the brightness goes down to 5% and the sound mode is on mute. Now I have the running notification going because if you accidentally turn it on, then at least you know and you can turn it off. So let me show you exactly what this will do. What will happen is from the very get-go, I go to the movie, I sit down on my seat, and I'm gonna press and hold on this Bixby routine and I'm gonna hit the play button. So now what happened is my brightness went down to 5% and also my little volume is turned off. So no sounds will come through, no phone calls, text messages, uh, no matter what you do, media is also turned off as well. And then when you're done with the movie, go back to the screen, hit that little stop button and it brings you right back to where you were. Now I have adaptive brightness turned on. It's kind of bright in here, so it turned up my brightness pretty high. I'm gonna bring this right back down to where it was and. We're going to move on. So that was the one set up for movie. Now heading over to the second one, this one is called alarm. And this one is a if then situation where if it hits a certain time, then this application will open. Now let me explain why I have this one set up. This is set up just to make sure that the next day my alarm is turned on. So I have this one set up for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that's because on those days between 8 p.m. and 8.30 p.m., I will open up my phone and automatically this application here will pop up and let me show you what it's doing. So it's popping up clock and it's to make sure that this alarm is turned on. Sometimes it accidentally turns off. Maybe you turn it off when you're um, halfway asleep or something like that, but it's a way to make sure that for me anyways, personally, I'm getting up in time to make sure that my son goes to school, he gets dressed, eaten and dropped off and everything else. So let's go back inside of the Bixby routines. So explaining it just a little bit more, I set it up to where if uh, it is a certain time, let's say that we go through here, uh, the start time is at 8 p.m., the end time is at 8.30, I set up Sunday uh, through Thursday, and then it's a way that it's going to open up my clock application. Now, I didn't set up for Friday because my son doesn't go to school on Saturday, so I don't care about Saturday and Sunday. I just wanna make sure that it's at least turned on. Now this one over here is one that's called save battery at night. So I set this one up because let's say that your phone is not charging and if it's not charging between 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. then obviously I'm asleep and if it's not charging then I want the medium power saving to be turned on. So what's going to happen is let's say that if my phone is at 100% when I go to bed, maybe my phone is at 20% by the time I go to bed, at 1 a.m. until 7 a.m it will be putting in, uh, if it notices it's not being charged, which I don't charge my phone overnight, then it's gonna be putting it in medium power saving mode so it's not gonna drain my battery as I'm sleeping. So those are the three that I have set up. So to really see what everything this application is able to do and for you to set yours up, you do have to go to the very top and hit on that little plus button. So here's the first question. If, then you're gonna trigger something else. So if, uh, uh, if you're at home or if you're traveling abroad, 
if it's a time or if you're at a certain place. So you can actually set up like your home address or your work address. Uh, or you can go down here. So if you plugged in wired headphones, it does this. If you uh, or are charging your phone or not charging your phone, if your battery level gets to a certain percentage, then do this. So let's do that one. So if battery level, and let's say that you're like, uh, your battery level goes down to 30%. So if battery level is 30%, then that's where you go to next, then this is what's gonna happen. Maybe you want to go to Bluetooth and make sure it turns off because you want to make sure your Bluetooth is off. Uh, you know, if you're pretty low, let's add in another one. Uh, then let's see here. Maybe you want do not disturb turned on. Uh, you have separate app sound, sound mode, media. So maybe if your phone is going down, maybe you want your blue light filter to turn on, you know, that could maybe help you save a little battery. Maybe your brightness, definitely change your brightness down. So I know that you might be outdoors or you might be somewhere, but you're at 30%. So you can, it'll turn off your Bluetooth. It'll bring your brightness down. As you just keep on scrolling down, you can see dark mode, screen stuff, always on display. Ooh, definitely uh, you can do uh, turn it off. You can turn off you're always on display if it's pretty low. So we're gonna hit done. Let's do another one, let's see. And there might be one that's set up, you know, already for low battery. Uh, flashlight website, you can open an application, read notifications aloud. You can make it beep once, letting you know, hey, you are down. So beeping once, this is good enough for me. You know, you can also go to Wi-Fi, turn off Wi-Fi, stuff like that. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do this. Uh, we'll, we'll keep this one at battery level. You know, we'll keep that name there. Uh, and so it's gonna always be on. So what's going to happen is when my phone gets down to 30%, so if my phone gets below 30%, Bluetooth will turn off, brightness will go down, always on display will turn off, and it's going to beep once letting me know, hey, you got a low battery. I think that's pretty good. That's that's a pretty good one to have, you know, set up. If you don't want it to be turned on for today, you know, maybe for a fact you're at the beach, you're somewhere at you're outdoors and you need to have your brightness on and you don't really care if you do get below 30% because you still have quite a few hours left after that, you can turn it off, but then you can turn it right back on. And the other thing you can do is you can press and hold and you can also delete it. So if there's any of these you don't want, press and hold, hit delete, and you're really good to go. Now with all of that stated, after you played with some, maybe you set some up that's very similar to mine, head over to Discover, check out to see what they have going on. Uh, see what it says for school. And you can also set these things. So you can actually set where your school is. You can put in the address or if you're sitting at that address, it'll pick up your location and get it set up. So go through here, check a few things out. Uh, if you're in a meeting, it'll put your phone on mute. If you're at a workout, uh, your do not disturb will be turned on. Right here, this is a good one for me. So these are the two things I do use uh, when I'm at the gym, maybe YouTube Studio and maybe Messages. I would actually probably change these ones to, if I go to change these, uh, maybe my left one would actually be YouTube Music and then the other one would be would be messages. So let's go down and let's go to messages, just in case if I want this one to be turned on. Uh, let's go to messages. Uh, so we're gonna do that one. And then for this one over here, we're gonna do YouTube music because YouTube music is what I use when I listen to music. And now we're good to go. So if I hit on done, uh, do not disturb, cool, cool, sounds good. Uh, and that's really about it. You don't have to add these to your home screen. You can if you want to. And so now what's gonna happen is if I'm at the gym and I hit on this little play button there, uh, it's going to put it into workout mode. It's on do not disturb. And then if I go down and if I look at my lock screen, it's gonna show those two applications that I have set up, uh, which is messages as well as my music. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.